Everyone who uses the internet will be familiar with these annoying boxes. Whilst they are tedious, they are also a necessary evil because they help websites distinguish between someone who is genuinely trying to log into their account or a bot who's trying to hack into someone's account. Thankfully, these capture boxes might soon be a thing of the past because they are slowly being replaced with private access tokens or PATs. As explained at last year's Apple Developer Conference, private access tokens are a powerful alternative to captures that help web servers and applications identify legitimate requests without compromising a person's identity or their personal information. You can enable PATS on your iPhone or iPad by opening settings, clicking on your Apple ID, followed by passwords and security, and then scrolling to the bottom of the screen. There you'll see the automatic verification option, which you want to enable. There's also a handy description underneath explaining that by enabling this option, it will bypass captures by allowing iCloud to automatically and privately verify you and your device. To enable private access tokens on Mac, open System Preferences and again click on your Apple ID and choose Passwords and Security. Sadly, even if you enable this option across all your Apple devices, you're still going to find plenty of websites asking you to complete a capture box. And that is because the use of these private access tokens as a replacement for capture boxes relies on the website supporting Apple's implementation of automatic verification. And in my testing at least, I haven't really noticed any significant reduction in the number of times I'm presented with a capture box. But at least when the web developers finally do get around to supporting these PATs, all your devices are ready to start using them. So that is how you can prepare your devices to bypass website capture boxes. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. And you might also be interested in learning about a nasty security risk that affects all iPhone and iPads, or an easy way to share your Wi-Fi password securely. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.